Hey guys, the Cadillac's back. They told me they left with it. Did they leave the door open? Looks like they broke the gas door. Uh, let's see, do we have keys? We got keys. They said that they were driving down the road and all this smoke started pouring out of the car. So they think they blew a hose in the back, so they brought it back. I said, well, maybe it froze because it was like 18 degrees again. Because I had it running in the shop for a while. Didn't have an issue. Let's see. I wonder if it's like something to do with this plastic tea. There definitely is coolant or something all over back here. You can see it. And the whole heater box is all busted, or the plastic. Let's see, is there any coolant in here? Oh, it's full here. Radiator's empty. <laughs> that is completely empty. So I guess we'll pull this in the shop and we'll see where our leak's at. Unless we can start it up and see where our leak's at. Let's see if we can start it, see where it's at. Let's so we can pull this in. I don't see anything coming out, so we'll bring it in the shop. Okay, guys, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's smoke. There, you can kind of see it. It's coming out this side of the car, and it wasn't even running long. What was that, like two, three minutes tops from bone cold? <sighs> I smell coolant, too. Grab a flashlight. Oh, it's coming from back here, guys. Uh, probably from being on the exhaust or something. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna try to do a little trick here. We're going to uh, get my smoke machine. Hook the smoke machine up to the cooling system and then we'll see where the smoke comes. We'll just have to let this go away for a little bit though. Okay guys, so what I did was I took my adapter from my coolant pressure testing kit right here. Put it on there, took the end off. Now we're gonna put the smoke machine in here. I haven't turned anything on yet because hopefully this will work. Let's see. Let's build some smoke up first, and then we'll uh, we'll connect it up. But fairly confident we're going to find a ratio. You can see it's starting to produce smoke. I never I never really see anybody doing this, but I just recorded like three or four videos doing this just to show people. Because I don't know why a lot of people don't do this. So you just put your smoke machine into the cooling system. Uh, let me connect this up real quick. Okay, there we go. Uh, we don't have a good seal here. Hopefully we can get good enough seal. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it might be sealing better now. Oh, now we're seeing it from the back here, guys. Oh, look at that, right out of the T. Remember I said, I, I bet you we have a T issue? Look at that. Oh, there we go, found our issue, guys. It broke. Coolant T broke. Okay. See that, this is why this test is awesome, but I never see anybody doing it. Even if there's coolant in there, it'll push the coolant out wherever it's leaking. This thing will build like 20 PSI or so. Let's shut this off. And it's a good way to test the system before you even, uh, before you even fill with coolant. Like, yeah, you could pull a vacuum on it, you could pressure test it with air, but you can see smoke come out. So let me go see if I have a tea. I might even have one of these. 
Okay, guys, so here's our new coolant. See, this one's made a lot heavier. Now, to measure these, when I measured the opening right here, it's 5 eighths. This is a 3 quarter inch T. You got to measure the, the edge of the flared section right here. Because when I measured it on this one, it was 3 quarter, but like I said, the inside was 5 eighths. So, this is going to be our T for this. So, I'm going to get this put in, and we'll turn our smoke machine back on, and we'll pressure test it, and we'll see if we have any leaks. There we go, guys. Got the colon T all nice and tight. And uh, we'll turn our smoke machine back on. Got to turn our switch on. There we go. And now we should see our flow start dropping. And our pressure will start increasing. Look at that. Look at our pressure. Look at that, guys. And you see how low our flow is going now. Just remember, this didn't seal perfectly to begin with. See our pressure going up. So now what we could do is we could shut this off or turn our flow down, but our pressure may drop. Yeah, our pressure is going to drop because it isn't 100% airtight here. Actually, you know what else I don't know? I don't know if this thing reached pressure when it's shut off. Oh, I turned our flow all the way down that way. I think. Yeah, look at that. We're just under 10 PSI. This might just be the pressure in the machine. Yeah, I haven't really experimented with shutting this off. So I think we're good to go, guys. I don't see anything coming out. Let's see what happens. So that is going down to zero. So if we take this off and there's pressure in here, we know there's a check valve. Yeah. Oh, God. That was a mistake. Okay, don't do that. Because there's still coolant in there. So it's pushing the coolant back through the system. Got to let it go slowly. That made a mess. I usually open it right there. I don't usually take this off. So I'll get this cleaned up. And then we'll go from there. There we go. Got to clean everything up, even my smoke machine. Okay, guys, so I got a lot of it cleaned up. Got the cooling system filled. Let's uh It's exciting. Let's see if we can start this up and hit here I'll bad this bell to squeak. There we go. Let's see this. And the belt's not even squeaking. So I'll let this run for a little bit and then we'll check it. Okay guys, so the plot thickens on this car. I got it getting heat now. I had to hold the RPM up for a while and let it sit here for a while. But uh, I think the heater core is partially clogged because there's all this crap in the front. Look at all this crap. It's making my container all nasty. See that? 
was all clean corn, so I put like a gallon in it. So like three quarters of a gallon, it's like brand new corn in there. And it just keeps coming out nasty. Let's see, guys. So that's what it looks like coming in, but it comes out of the car like all brown. You can see it coming out. It's nasty. So I bet you the heater core is partially clogged. So, I guess that's it for this. Hope you guys like it. See you later. Look at that, guys. Nasty.